I don't think it's a particularly controversial thing to say that in this day and age, parenting skills ain't what they used to be. Would you agree? Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome to today's episode of Fresh. As I mentioned yesterday, I have some good friends who've brought up nine children, each one of whom is still walking with the Lord. Over the years, they seem to me to be doing an outstanding job of parenting. So I asked them for their top five tips for building a godly family. Here's tip number two, as Mark wrote it to me in his email. It's all about grace, God's grace. This comes from John chapter 15, verse 5, where Jesus says, apart from me, you can do nothing. My wife and I kind of figured that nothing included not even parenting. We really believe this literally, and we try to apply it to our parenting daily. God chooses to work through the parents that he's appointed for each child. And the choices we make or avoid will all have a very real impact for bad or for good. In other words, we'll be held responsible for how we parent. But any good that comes out of what we do is to God's ultimate credit, because God is a debtor to no man, and all the glory ultimately belongs to him. John chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you stay joined to me and I to you, you will produce plenty of fruit. But separated from me, you won't be able to do anything. Being a parent is one of the most challenging things that anybody can ever do. And as Mark and Precious took this verse literally as parents, what I hear them saying is that the closer they were to Jesus, the better parents they became. Mm. That's God's word, fresh for you today. And you know, the best way to get closer to Jesus is to be in his word, the Bible, on a daily basis. That's why I'd love to send you your fresh devotional each day, a scripture verse and some words of inspiration, hope and encouragement to help you be all that God made you to be. It's completely free. Stop by at ChristianityWorks.com for instant access. That web address again is ChristianityWorks.com. I'll catch you next time.